That shit makes chicks crazier than they already are. I heard. It does. Well, it fucks with your hormones. Hey, but you can fill them up. Yeah, I'm not. I could take that or leave it, dude. I'm not a huge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a huge gay. <laughs> Fucking gay. <laughs> Let's start the show. Yeah, we're like 10 I thought minutes we in. already had. Yeah, no. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. To another episode of the Tasteless Gentleman, Dom, what's up? Yeah, it's fucking it's Friday. Not that, yeah, it's not that it's early. Friday. But, yeah. It's early, but it's Friday. Yeah. TGIF, yay! Now they're gonna know how long it took me to edit. I know. <laughs> Put it up. They're gonna they're gonna tear just, just you give, apart just anyway. Give, just give matter. next week's date. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Alex, hey, it's Friday. I ain't got no job. I got shit to do. Real smoke S- crack scoop. Yeah. Well, we hit a million on uh, Instagram yesterday. Fuck yeah. Yesterday. No shit. Yeah. Hey, that's what's One up. One M. Now there's no, because every day I would, uh, you know, you wake up and you see it jumps two or three thousand, five, sometimes five or ten or twenty or something like that. Now I wake up and it's just one M every fucking day. Now you, now you gotta wait weeks for it to months, 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 months maybe. Yeah. It could be months before it goes to one point one. Yeah, that's true. Ah, there's no, there's no like feedback anymore. Hey, but you got that M next to that. You, means I mean, you made it. The M's nice. Oh, Illuminati's gonna be calling. You could any contact day. Instagram and have them just actually write out the whole number. They used so to you do that. See, really? Yeah, they used to be the even if it was millions, it was still it was. It like probably took up number. too much information. That probably. that extra point. Yeah, and also it would fluctuate so much. You know, I think I think it zigs that. It's bringing the numbers up. Yeah, it's got to be. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, everything's going up. The YouTube's going up. Yeah. Appreciate all the support. Ziggs, thanks, dude. Appreciate like, it, man. Like all the videos. Yeah. Good and man. the and the clothing. Yeah, the clothing. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, Link in the bio. Or wait. No, wait. Link in the description. Links everywhere. Links Somewhere. Everywhere. You can find it. It's tattooed on my back. We'll show you guys later. Yeah. It's tattooed, <laughs> tattooed on my dick. Can't show you that. Yeah. You can only get the full fucking link <laughs> when I'm hard. It's, it's a short link. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit short. It's a bit <laughs> yeah. Um, what are we doing? We're doing an ask, a, ask us assholes today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we posted, uh, uh, Alex posted on the Facebook uh, to send in your Ask a Taste of Gentleman questions. And uh, we're going to answer them right now. Yeah. And by the way, if your life falls apart completely as a result of taking our advice, we hold no liability. Yeah, that's your yeah. stupid mistake. <laughs> and it's definitely Dom's fault. Yeah, definitely. Fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Dom, I do love the suit, though. Thank you, man. I it's really comfortable. Do. I like these shits. You know what I mean? See, when I get dressed in the morning, I just throw shit on. But when I see you, I'm like, no, this is a man who takes time to dress himself in the morning. Not really. It's like, just- you look... Oh, it's, it's it's easy. He woke That's up. So easy. He, woke, he woke up like this. Yeah, woke, basically, he's, he's had that on for three days yeah, <laughs> with the shoes. I like, can't take it off, man. It's too no nice. makeup. <laughs> Dom's gonna make his rounds just so people can see him a little more dressed up like this right. today. Hashtag really, really? I woke up like this. Yeah, fuck it. I got some errors to run. Um, so, are we gonna do the questions uh, specifically, or just each one of us will answer in our own way? We'll just either or yeah, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, I mean, see. maybe they're retarded. That yeah. could be. Det- <laughs> that's why. Well, that's why I was asking if they were stupid. Or Remember, there are there are no stupid th- questions. Just stupid people who ask questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no no stupid questions. Just stupid people. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of stupid questions, shall we get started? Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Let's All start. right. Devin asks, if you have an inch of your dick in your mom, and an inch of your in the inch of your dad's in your ass, what direction do you move to get out of that situation? I saw this the other day. <laughs> yeah, I see this one all the time. I want to know the fucked up person who thought of this. Because it's actually really, f- it's fucking brilliant, but it's it fucked really, up. It's fucked up. But it's brilliant. That's a rough one. I can't even picture, no, I, I, can't, I don't even want to yeah, picture this. I don't know, just, just, just scream out, roll tide and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, let's put it in like a, a saw scenario. Okay. Like you know what I mean? Like with that movie Saw. Like that's yeah. It's that we're not gay. <laughs> we're not gay, bro. Fuck I'm, that. I'm not about that incest shit, bro. Gay no, but incest. If it's, if it's in the Saw, you know, if it's in that kind of context, yeah, like, yeah gun to your head. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like uh, human centipede. You wake up and all of a sudden you're in a situation where you have to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you 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 have two options. Mom's in front. Dad's in back. Yeah. You could throw that ass back. <laughs> But wait, hold on. Are you are you getting out of the situation? Like, yeah, that's what he, I think. That isn't that what he's asking? Do you go forward to get out, or you go back? To get yeah, out? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, what he's asking. I guess it depends on how big your dad's dick is. 
<laughs> that's that's one way to look at it. I think I'd probably go back because my dad would be more understanding of the situation. I, oh, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, that's and fair. And you wouldn't want to get your mom pregnant. That, that That's also fair. Because that's what I was going to do just so my dick could go limp so I could get out. Yeah, I, I don't think you're hard at, at all in that particular <laughs> scenario. And if you, if you are, there's something seriously fucking wrong oh, with damn, you. Damn, my bad. Then you'd have to move back a or few more yeah, inches too. Or you're, or you're from like Kentucky. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd go with moving back. That that's a good point. Dad would be way more understanding. What if he's just like this big old fucking mandingo? Well, like, then you probably are. He's too. already in your ass. <laughs> yeah, he's already <laughs> in. It's, it's, yeah, that's been established. So I think we all we agree. Got to go back. I, I think go let's, back. Let's, let's throw, throw it back. back. <laughs> you got to throw that ass. Back. You know, like you know, ten years later, you're getting drunk with your dad, and he's like, "Hey, remember that one time?" He's yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. saw." <laughs> I understand, son. <laughs> Dude, that fucking Saw movie, though. I, I don't never get saw out it. Really? No, not one of them. They're kind of good. I mean, they're they're not a uh, they're not the scariest things ever. But uh, there's a couple freak out moments. Like I heard little, some of the scenarios are fucked idiot up. on the bike riding around. <laughs> <laughs> Looking, looking like a crazy ex-girlfriend. Yeah, I used to. Uh, uh, we have a friend who hates that that movie, and uh, I used to print out. I would drive by her house. I'd print out the the little saw face, and I'd put it on her windshield. I would do it like every couple of weeks, <laughs> or like I, if I was knew I was gonna go by that house, I would just drive up and put it on her windshield. <laughs> Want to play a game? Probably freaking out. Yeah, yeah. How many have there been? Like six. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. they jump. The, whenever shit happens like that, they jump the shark. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Do we have another question? We do. Brian asked, I just got divorced. How the hell do I get laid again? Oof. Tinder. Yeah, you got to fire up them fucking dating apps, first of all. Tinder yeah. is like number one. If you're newly single, the, the first day you should fire up Tinder. There's more to this, though. There's more as a divorced person. I think, yeah, you have to analyze multiple levels. Yeah, of there's, there's... What? It's not just fire up the Tinder. Well, there's a backstory here we don't know. Were they married for 20 years? High school sweethearts? Married for a year? Is he, she a bitch? Is she a nice specify. person? Was it amicable? I mean, there's too many factors. But e either way, either way. But I agree with you. Yeah, you, fire up the Tinder. You gotta, yeah, you got to fire up the Tinder, that's for sure. But you got you to gotta start banging out the gym. You got to get some hobbies. You got to yeah, do something occupation. else. Occupation. Yeah, yeah. You got to keep your mind occupied. Because you you don't just find hoes on Tinder. That's nice and all. But you find hoes at the gym. Or you if you're on, going on hikes and you're like, well, I'm already going on a hike. You know, hey, you want to walk should, together? You want to uh, do this together? Or on the other side of that, if your fucking ex-wife was a halfway decent human being, which let's just assume she was, you're going to run through these fucking idiots. And then you're going to be thinking in your mind like, oh, I kind of miss her. Ugh. Don't miss her. Yeah, don't. don't miss her. You know what she's doing right now? She's getting railed by the entire she's a, Raiders. She's yeah, a, she's the on whole team. She's on Tinder. Line. Yeah, they're pulling numbers out of one of those take a number things, <laughs> yeah. and she's just spread eagle yeah. she's in a, a fucking with a, with, in stirrups with a gaping asshole. Yep, <laughs> they're shooting. They're shooting come into her asshole or gaping asshole like it's a carnival game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're shooting the water into the clown's yeah. mouth to blow up the balloon. Yeah, every time someone shoots a rope, you know the little ding. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on. At least that's what needs to be going on in your head. But yeah, you got you got to get after it. You got to do something that's. Uh, yeah. You got to stay active. It's not just about like get. Uh, who knows if this guy's in shape or not? It's not even about that. But you just got to stay like you got to better yourself, and, and then you can find the hose. That's where the hose. And you got to know it's not coming back. Like there, you're, you oh yeah, know yeah, there's yeah. no way you're getting back in that relationship. Yeah, well, it's over. Yeah, and the self improvement thing just benefits your whole mindset. Yeah, because one, it's just snowballs. Once you get one chick. And then they just start coming confident. out of nowhere. It builds your confidence. They, they, can, yeah. they can smell the the pheromones. They, yeah. they, they know you've been freshly fucked. Dude, the, the times where I had like messy, you know, I'm hooking up with one or two girls, I'd meet like the baddest chick. I'm like, fuck, right? Why now? Yeah, yeah. Go away. Come back in fucking eight months. I already got, I already got a couple. <laughs> Timing going. is everything. And then remember, if you really want to win the divorce, you got to fuck her new man. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's for sure. We established that at the last yeah. show. I thought that. Oh, yeah, I thought that was just given. You have to fuck. Well, the if new you didn't see why last episode, you have to fuck her new boyfriend. Yeah. Definitely do. Yeah. Especially, Dominance. especially if she was cheating on you with him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that means right, you got to go fuck all the raiders. You got to fuck a dude. <laughs> yeah. you, you it's go, just a, it's a cert, just asserting you gotta, you gotta your go, dominance. You got to go out there and fuck butts. 
Yeah. I want some butts. <laughs> <laughs> Still the greatest line ever. That uh, if if you haven't seen it, ta- Top, Top Gun, Gun, right? Yeah, yeah. he does a flyby. I want some butts. <laughs> <laughs> we have another question. Gerald asked, "Do you guys do this full time? Also, when you started this brand, were there personal conflicts like job slash or relationships?" <laughs> Oh, buddy. Relationship, yeah, but oh, I, don't yeah. Give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give two flying there's, fucks. There's no, there's no winning in relationships with it. I don't think. Uh, there can be. I mean, uh, yeah, we've all maybe not. Well, we've all burned some relationship pretty Definitely. much. Every yeah. per every woman I've either been sleeping with or dating long term or anything while doing the show has been bothered at least once or twice by yeah. something that was said on the show. And not even just what's said, it's like the paranoia that it creates in their head. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, for sure. And uh, the, even the girl I'm dating right now, uh, we haven't, we've never argued, but there was once back in the day where uh, it was, there, was, there was a piss story I was talking, I think I pissed her bed like two years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I told that story and I said she was cool with it and she took offense to that. Like, she was like, you thought, you thought, uh, that of I'd be, all the shit that you've I talked know. about, I was really? like, what the, but that's the only time she's ever said anything. Otherwise she doesn't give a fuck. I don't know. But Maybe, yeah. Like she's cool with it. So now you're just going to keep pissing in it. <laughs> yeah. And it was so weird. The argument was so, I could just tell when she came over, you know, the fucking face girls make. And I opened the door and she just, <laughs> that little, <laughs> and then they still let you fucking stew in it. Like something's really wrong yeah. for like an hour or two hours what before they actually on? come out and say it. I listen to the show. Ugh. That's how it always starts, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, especially with the uh, the Italy one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Italy trip, because I didn't really tell her nothing about it. Yeah, just, you got burned pretty bad. I just bad. came that out here and just started fucking yeah. firing I mean, off. Fucking. That's, that's kind of your bad, too, though. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I really don't care. Yeah, I, I had one that just, uh, she seemed cool about it from the start, and then she was started listening to the show, and she started getting paranoid. Like, once you open up that can of worms of, like, there, there's, like, a secret life that she doesn't know about, even if you're spending all kinds of time with the person, you, they, there literally wouldn't be enough time to have that secret life. It's just still in their head, and that never goes away. There's nothing you can do to erase that once you open that up. Well, I think yep. there are certain women who could handle guys who have a past, and there are certain women who can't. Like, I was out with my girlfriend in a group of friends, and I was telling this story of a past sexual encounter in college. And one of the girls in the group was like, wait, you're telling this story in front of your girlfriend? And I'm like, yeah, it this happened. I'm not going to not recall something that's funny just because it's a sex it's, encounter. It's not yeah. like you're bragging like, oh, man, I was fucking but I think that there are a lot of, <laughs> But I think there are a lot of women who just don't even want to ponder that. So really? they don't even want to be reminded of the fact that you had a past. It would be so douchey though if you're not a bro kind of guy. Yeah. But if you were, you know, like yeah. the bro kind of yeah, guy of sitting course. there, like, oh man, I was fucking nailing this. Or like, bitch. I used to fuck so many bitches yeah. before yeah. I met her. Yeah. It was the fuck. best I, pussy I, to, I ever I used had. To fuck. Yeah. I used to fuck. I was exactly. Just, I was just laying pipe daily. Just fucking just and <laughs> sucking and fucking. Yep. Exactly. My dick would be raw. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right though. There are girls that can handle it, and there's some that just can't can't do. Because I've definitely dated some girls that they don't want to know. I, I don't really want to know much, but you know, if you're telling a story, whatever. But you're smart enough to know that shit's been things have yeah. happened prior to you. But I'm not even talking about like like past things. Like um, they start to believe that things are going on currently that they yeah, don't yeah. know about. Like, yeah, that's yeah. The other one that I'm that I'm sort of going on. Oh, in terms of planting the seed. Planting the seed. Yeah. Yeah. That's the I same guess. thing when, when somebody cheats or something like that. You can never get it back. Once yeah. that seed has been planted or once that, that idea is out, it's over. Yeah. It's over. You And that goes both ways. I mean, it'd be the same thing if you thought she was doing. Oh, for sure. You know, be like, oh, you should not at the fucking gym. Just in the back of your head. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Driving by the gym, seeing if she's there. <laughs> she's not out with her friends. <laughs> um, I think another one I had was actually around that same time um, was shortly after her was a girl I went on like three dates with and everything was cool. Like everything was going well. Like nothing was wrong. She knew, she knew about the show. She, she had listened to the show and she was, uh, and she was like, look, if we went like any further than this, you know, I just couldn't live with you talking about us and what we do in the bedroom. And I was like, bye. <laughs> no, I was like, I was like, you know what? Like, you know, Outside of anything being like outrageous, I wouldn't just be like, oh, yeah, I was having sex with my girlfriend last night or some shit yeah, like yeah. that. So I was like, there really would be almost no reason for anything to come up. 
And then she's like, yeah, I guess you're right. Like, she was cool with that. And then like a week later, she called me and she's like, look, I, I just feel weird about everything. She goes, uh, she goes, I just can't get past the idea that like you might talk about me on the show. And I was like, we haven't even gotten there yet. Yeah. And, and now so, you are uh, talking about yeah, it. Now I am talking about it. Because you made it, she made you it made a story. It a you made it a thing. <laughs> like the chick that I slept with who was crying about being a story on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. But it's funny, we're all sitting that here talking shit. Show. If all four of us were in that position where we were dating chicks who did a fucking show where they just sat and talked about sex, we'd be like, me. Yeah, I, I honestly little, wouldn't little listen. I would dick. never yeah. listen. Tiny dick. No, I would never. I would. Yeah. No, no, there's I no way. Listen. Yeah, I just be like, whatever. Do your thing. And yeah. it also, uh, nothing makes me more, more uncomfortable than when uh, I don't know. Like, if you ever watch like a comedian bomb or something like that, yeah, I can't handle it. I, I can't no, handle it watching it. It makes you it. just cringe. But when when uh, somebody I know is not doing something funny or, or it's not like good you know for like your friend is playing guitar on facebook yeah and it's not good i get i can't handle no, it i understand so when they when somebody when one of my friends is doing something i just i don't want to see it because if it's bad i get so uncomfortable yeah. yeah it's like uh it's like the seinfeld episode where uh jerry gets dumped because the woman goes to see his act yeah. And he looks at her and he's like, you're a cashier. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> he makes four seventy five an hour. Barista bitch. Yeah. Chill the fuck out. Wait, there was another part to that question. What was? It, did he ask if this is what we full all do time. full time? Yeah. 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 That's a no. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, at some point, perhaps, but right now. That, that's nah. the goal. We're, yeah. I mean, we're trying to work towards that. We're you working know. on it. Spread the word. Help us out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Put some money in the GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the goal. I mean, yeah. at least do this. I want to, I mean, I think we all would like it just three times a week. Do yeah. a show through. It's just, you know, we got to do other stuff. You life. Know, life. Pornhub. Yeah, yeah you know. Bitches Two hour here. jerk off yeah. sessions. I, I, I got to make my Pornhub money by doing jerk off videos. Dude, people are making money on Pornhub. People are getting. Doing what? Doing amateur videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're sending your own fuck. Blur I, out your face. I'm telling you, we should be. Not either. We should be uploading this show to Pornhub. <laughs> when we could. Yeah. What's his name? Wheeler, Wheeler Walker Jr. Wait, how are album. they making money? I'm curious now. It's just like a YouTube style. Yeah. Really? Because they run ads uh, on. Well, it's if like you're gonna fuck ads. your girlfriend anyway, and you could blur out your faces, why not? Why not? Oh, uh, the tattoos. Tattoos. Though. tattoos <laughs> yeah. You can blur out the tattoos though. <laughs> it's too much work. You're just one blurred man. Yeah. He's got Bradley across his yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> my my address. Yeah. It, looks like, it looks like you're fucking two UFOs. Fucking two UFO sightings. <laughs> Yeah, Damn. just two blobs. Yeah. Like, just like, <laughs> fuck, I would honestly consider doing that if it weren't for the tattoos. Dude, dude. Damn. well, you could do, uh, I mean, this is probably, well, no, because you couldn't do the blurred I mean, BJ, but fuck, but do I really care? Like, my family's not do, on Pornhub yeah. looking for fucking <laughs> just don't, you know, just don't know that. Just do the full latex suit with, like, the dick hole. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, in the naked gun where he was just in one condom. Yeah. <laughs> the giant condom. Dude, those movies are so good. Well, yeah, I guess, fuck, if you could do it on uh, Pornhub, well, you could also do Chatterbait. Yeah. I, I, but are you, that's donations, no? Chatterbait? Yeah, you gotta get coins. Yeah, yeah you gotta, so that's more work. Like wanna, that, you just upload and, eh. you know, if it pops. Yeah, pops, if, you, if you upload, if you give us 20 coins, you'll get to see the next segment. <laughs> God, those fucking chicks on there and all those little coin, they piss me off. Stop yeah. it. Just show the puss. Yeah. It, it is boring. It's, it's boring. really boring. It just To sit there and teases. wait while you watch some chick fucking gold dig her way into taking <laughs> yeah. off her fucking top. As, as her grandma's on the computer behind her. Yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, like in the fucking, some of the third world countries. Didn't we all, we all shared that one, right? We, uh, as it was live, I think. Yeah, we were sharing that one. <laughs> like you might not. Be, this was a while. This is a couple. It years was a ago. long time ago. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and the <laughs> girl was. <laughs> was just, grandma yeah, was sitting. She was in so the background. Pa yeah. Let's paint the picture real quick. It's one of those, you know, like chatterbait style, and the girl is sitting in front, you know, and the grandma's behind, maybe on a couch or something, like, but not looking. She's looking the other direction. But the girl is masturbating in the room while grandma's right there. Yeah. And grandma's like shooting questions, like, "Hey, Mija." <laughs> She's she, yeah. um, and then, and then back to fucking, and then she came, she came in the fucking room. Gotta make rent. Gotta make rent. You gotta do what oh, you gotta man. do. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> it was uncomfortable. To it was. Watch, un I mean, I beat off, but it yeah. was uncomfortable. To the well, grandma, of course, we already knew. Obviously. We already knew that. Yeah. <laughs> when she said, "Hey, Mija," ah, oh. uh, <laughs> uh, nut, get re. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When she, when she said Poppy, she was really calling for her dad. Yeah, I, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. It was in the literal sense. It yeah. wasn't in the sexual sense. <laughs> we got, uh, got another question? We do. Andrew asks, 
Would a male sex doll that can last longer than any man be acceptable replacement for my girlfriend if I leave her? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you're getting we're, you're getting replaced no matter what. All of us are. Hey, those robots are I heard that's becoming a a real thing now in hey, Japan. Those, those robots fuck. Yeah, they fuck. I, I mean even before the robots I mean, we we've all seen the the machine. I mean, I don't even know what it is, but it's just the machine with the dildo on it. The the, yep. si- the Sibian. Yeah, and it just chicks I mean, lose their mind, dude. Yeah. There's no way you can beat a Sibian. No, no, not a chance. Impossible. And then they got the drildo. The drill. Yeah, that <laughs> seems that seems dangerous. Though. What if like the dildo just flies off? Well, because it's and then, is you got, it spinning? And then you got a drill bit inside her. <laughs> is it spinning? Yeah, some of them do. Yeah. I, I mean, that seems. I've done that before. Like to dumb. Someone. I don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> the drill. Yeah, yeah, it was at a strip club. The drill well, that's, though that's legal. Yeah, yeah. It was in Mexico. Everything's oh, legal. Oh yeah. yeah, anything goes down there. Wow, that's that impressive. impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Pay ten bucks. Or what's what's the machine that he makes in uh, in Burn After Reading, where uh, he's like working with like the metal pipes, and then you go downstairs, and it's like a rocking chair, and a dildo shoots up every time. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's so fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And it was in like a cage or something, right? Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It was like down in the basement. There's like a cage with the fucking <laughs> dildo rocking chair. Burn after reading. Yeah, you will never be able to be superior to the machine that replaces you. No. It's kind of like uh, when people have uh, sex on, uh, what was like a acid? Not acid. Ecstasy. Right? Uh, yeah, ecstasy. ecstasy or whatever. Once you do that, you can't really go back. And I think a lot of these, I mean, you can go back, but it's just not the same. Yeah, snakes out of the cage at that point. Snakes out of the cage. And when these, all these chicks, when us and when these chicks start banging these fucking robots and, and the the robots. And they cuddle. They cuddle, throwing that ass, but I puppy, I puppy. I mean, what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm not going back to my fucking retarded girlfriend who's, <laughs> I'm tired. It's going gonna, it's gonna to end up, society's going to be a bunch of chicks banging robots and dudes just angry banging each other. Yeah. That's going to be society. Oh, that's weird, but I like it. That's <laughs> all that's left. So we're just going to be beating off the robots, AI fucking each other? <laughs> or we're going to have to find some robot pussy. It, there's going to be robot pussy. Definitely. Yeah. I feel like it already exists. But no guy will ever maintain it properly. <laughs> Uh, that's, no. that's a good point I'm, you're just, just blow, you're just blasting inside of it <laughs> semen's like seeping into the fucking mechanisms it's like coming out of her eyes yeah it's <laughs> oozing out point. of her ears but what but what, if it's like if it gets to a point where it's uh what's that movie will smith ai yeah, yeah. if it gets to that point where it can just go i robot go yeah. Shower. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah i robot go shower bitch what the fuck and then make food like that would be amazing that would be just <laughs> ordering it around and it doesn't care. It doesn't. Well, until I mean, it kills you. Until it kills you. And then you start. You start having feelings for it, though. Yeah. You start. Appreci- I mean, you appreciate your fucking. You know, your computer. Whatever. You know, like man, I love this thing. I love Hooking you. Hooking me up with some good for, info for the first week, and then it slows down. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Or your phone, Apple, cocksuckers. Yo, what was that thing when they were like? Uh, they were like slowing down the battery and shit. And they yeah. got sued for that shit. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, the, the explanation. Semi makes sense, but this has been happening on every phone for flight, years. For years, yeah. and then they they, and part of it is that they put out the update, and I'm no fucking expert, but they put out the update, and then a lot of the apps are not they're not updated. So, you know, then it slows down the phone. The phone doesn't work. Like my phone is. It's always trash playing right now. catch up. It's always playing yeah. catch up, and then it's a, and then they use the excuse of well they got to slow it down to conserve because the battery sucks now. That's okay, but. Dude. They could have just made the battery twenty nine dollars in the first place instead yeah. of it's the updates. Bullshit. Always fuck everything up, dude. Working, everything. Working for a company that had an app, like g- getting everything right after the updates. So like after all the shit gets updated, then you got to go in and you have to completely redo your app, and then you have to get it approved by Apple. So then they have like different shit. Like oh, you can't have like X, Y, and Z in the app. Right. Yeah. But they don't tell you that. So you send it in, and they 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 don't approve it. And so then you got to figure out why the fuck it didn't get approved. It sounds the same like when our Facebook page got banned. <laughs> well, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, they, they definitely help you out a nope. little more than that. But yeah, it's like it's very similar to that. And then you got to fucking beta test it with, with your employees. So by the time it's approved, it's already outdated. Yeah. So by the time you actually like get it out there and then you find out after you get it out there, there's all kinds of fucking shit wrong with it. So then you have to send it back and re-fucking do it. And then that's why you're constantly having the same app update like two times in a week. And that that's just... A single app. Yeah. And think about, you know, the average person. I mean, I know I have at least 30 apps that I use consistently. And all of those are trying to work on the one, like, ecosystem of the phone. Yeah. 
I don't know. This this is going to get so much better in five years. Just think about the iPhone. What the first one come out? 2007? That was like yeah, 10 years ago. Like a brick. Yeah, th- that thing was so shitty. Go look at a picture of that fucking... It is so shitty. Think about this. You used to have your cell phone and an iPod. Yeah. yeah. I had a mini disc player. Oh, wow. That's the greatest thing ever. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> I had the Nokia I still have my phone. music on an iPod. Why? What's wrong with you? Because I have too much music to put on my phone. You should be on the terrorist watch list for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I probably am. People are getting arrested on Napster shit. <laughs> Part of that I, indictment. <laughs> I, just give me a pocket pussy, dude, and I'll be fine with it. I don't $200 need, for a I don't need a $5,000 doll. I want the doll. Really? Yeah. You don't think you'd get tired of it, honestly? Why don't you just print out a model's face on a pillow and use the pocket <laughs> pussy? Fine. Switch the wig up, you know? There's things you could do. Like, like the, the black emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess if it's that advanced, you could program it to be like Australian or British or yeah. fucking whatever. Have her talking to you in an accent. Just reprogram it and the eyes tighten up and slant. That's yeah. <laughs> racist! <laughs> uh, of course. All right. Guarev. I think that's his fucking name. I don't know. It's Close enough. Really, yeah. So I asked, how did you guys come up with the name The Tasteless Gentleman? A lot of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. We, we were, you and I were drunk, right? It was... Uh, yeah, no. Was I, I thought... It, yeah, we were. I was standing in your living room, and I thought of it because it was like, we're not bad guys, but we're also not nice guys, and I wanted to convey some sort of... It, like an oxymoron, the juxtaposition of nice and asshole, and that was poof. We were originally going to call it the shit show. <laughs> which <laughs> That's great for which, marketing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which it actually is, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, it was a whiskey fueled evening. Of it was actually Fireball, I think. Was right? it? I think so. Isn't Fireball technically whiskey? Yeah, yeah. Is but it really to be more specific? Yeah. I don't know. That. It's it's actually, it says it's whiskey a, on the it's bottle. It's actually a liqueur, but yeah, it's based it's whiskey, whiskey based. I don't. Fireball is fucking disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I used to like it, but uh, the hangover that comes when you now I'm in my fifties, the hangover <laughs> that hits when you drink Fireball. Is it's, oh, it's, all, it's all sugar. All sugar. Yeah, you just got. I could drink vodka. I could literally drink a bottle, like a whole bottle of vodka. Yeah, I'm gonna feel like shit in the morning for sure. But you're not gonna have that crazy hangover, like where you want to die. Where you want to die because there's no sugar involved. Or where like, you're thinking you actually might be dying. Yeah. Or you look out the window like today's the day. Let's just jump. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, take me home. Take me home. <laughs> you wake. You wake up and you're naked on the edge of your bed with the shotgun in your mouth, the yeah. toe on the trigger. Just like, how did I get here? <laughs> I mean, not today, yeah, old friend. <laughs> Put the shoddy under the bed again. <laughs> Do we have another question? Yeah. Lewis asks, have you guys ever been roasted by a family member? <laughs> That's a very specific, interesting question. Yeah. Really? I mean, I haven't been like roasted. I usually do the roasting, but I just remember one time it got really awkward where we were uh, as a f- collective whole, as a family, and we were talking about funeral arrangements for my grandma, and my cousin brought up the Tasteless Gentleman show just what hey man, f- how you guys been? Uh, how you guys doing that after? While like, you're you discussing just, a funeral, yeah, I was just like, he's like, yo, you want to perform at the funeral? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to perform? I was like, of all times, dog. That's like, the worst. Why would you bring that up? Like half the family don't even know I do this. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> should be ashamed. <laughs> it's gonna be bad the one day they find out that you do this, and there's like 50 episodes up for them to go look at. Yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be my mom because she's on Twitter. A lot. I'm like, Fuck. Almost start tagging her. What's her hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, the roasting thing. I don't think. No. Yeah. I, I think that that's an odd question. I mean, how many yeah. people have like? I mean, if you're talking about a proper roast where you sit down and like your whole family takes turns yeah. ripping you apart, that seems odd. Um, I mean, my my family's pretty vicious when it comes to like cracking jokes on each other. I it wouldn't I wouldn't call it roasting though, but like definitely growing up, it wasn't a family get together <laughs> until somebody left the room crying. I like your family, Alex, because I remember when I. Um, when we all got together for the uh, the wedding and shit, and your mama came up to me and was like, oh, I know about the taste of gentleman. You were like talking about like coming in fucking napkins and shit. She was just like laughing. I was like, damn, these <laughs> some good people over here. I can't talk like that. <laughs> I can't talk like that. My, my family can get pretty wild, dude. Like, when, especially as you get older and you and you start, you know, getting to the point where you can share shit with each other. Um, like I, uh, I went back for Thanksgiving and my aunt, my aunt and uncle showed up. And she'll, she always cooks or she always makes like different chocolates and, you know, um, fudge treats and stuff like that. And, uh, and she came and she, you know, I'd go to the car, help them get all this shit out. And then she has a separate plate with only like, like 10 chocolates. And then we get to the kitchen and she hands them to my dad. She's like, oh, these are for you. 
I'm like, what the hell? Like, why, <laughs> why does he have like random chocolates for him? <laughs> I mean, my dad will always eat like whatever desserts in front of him, but like, that's just kind of weird that he would separate those, those ones. And then, um, later in the night I find out that she had made some edibles. Yeah. I, that's kind of what I was thinking yeah. when you said that. That's and so funny. like my, uh, so we were just like sitting there, um, we all had a bunch of edibles and just like sat there on the couch and watched TV after Thanksgiving was over. And then for the next like few nights we were there, that's pretty much what we would do is just like pop a fucking edible in. And that's a family gathering. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's also dangerous. Those homemade yeah. edibles. <laughs> Who uh, the fuck knows? You're just well, throwing random my, shit in a bowl. You're not aunt, measuring. My aunt for fun and for extra cash, um, Cause they live out in like the boonies where they grow a bunch of weed and for extra cash when it's, when it's uh, the, the season to, to do all the trimmings and shit like that, she'll go out and do all the trimmings for like the weed, the weed farms. You make you can make a shit ton of money. Yeah, you can. Shit ton of money. I had a, People like kill each other over that shit out I there. I had a family member who, uh, who was going out there for like, he would only work uh, two weeks out of the month. So you go like work two weeks and then you chill for like two, three weeks and then go work two weeks, chill for because he's making a shit ton of money. Yeah. Because they, they don't do it. It's not like, you know, you're not paid by the hour. They do it by uh, whatever, you know, the power or yeah. whoever, whatever the fuck it is. And as long as you work quick, he's like, dude, we just get out there, smoke, throw some headphones on, fucking trim some weed, make enough money for the month. I'm chilling. Like, yeah. It's not a bad dope. way to live. But That's the only nice. thing is when you're out there, well, at least for him, you know, either like sharing a, uh, what is it, a motorhome yeah. with a bunch of people or like there was a situation he told me where he had a tent. I was like, yeah, I yeah, I get my own tent. I know, but for a couple of weeks. I mean, yeah, like I mean, I a guess big I'm ass tent. Like a Tom, as big as this. Yeah. Where are you gonna hang your velour yeah. jumpsuits, though? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I won't, I won't be wearing them out there. Right. Yeah, you can't wear them out there. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can buy more. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want, Don. Don't, yeah, don't listen to buy them. Buy plenty. <laughs> yeah, roasting. I don't. It, it's an odd question. It's not a question. I think the only thing close that I could think of was not. It's not even roasting, but just the same kind of like similar family funny dynamic. Where I'm sitting, this is like four or five uh, Thanksgivings ago, sitting in the, the, the living room with my uh, my family Thanksgiving. My mom is super funny. She'll she'll say some funny shit and she thinks she thinks, you know, shit that's not funny is funny, you know. But the rest of my family, not not so much. They're kinda I wouldn't say conservative, but they just they're not on that level, you know. And my brother brings up Mr. Hands. You guys seen this? No. It's the the guy the horse that fucks the the guy to <laughs> oh, death. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. <laughs> and my brother brings it up, and he won't stop talking about it. And I'm crying, laughing, and my mom keeps saying, "Stop it, stop it, stop!" And I can't stop. And then now I'm egging him on because I keep laughing. I can't help it. And he tells the entire story of this thing, dude. Crying, I was fucking crying. <laughs> and then my mom is laughing. She's trying to hold it back, you of know, course, trying to play cool yeah. for the family. But she's fucking laughing. You guys got cool was, parents, man. My I parents was, do not play that shit at I, all. Dom would have gotten smacked. Fuck yeah, <laughs> they, not, they don't think that kind of shit. Dad is zero games. I can't remember what I was back for, but we were having a dinner party, and um, maybe it was two years ago for Thanksgiving. Maybe it was last year. I can't remember. But um, my dad was telling a story about how he bought a facial as a gift for I think it was for my mom but she didn't end up using it and it was like running out of time so he ended up going to get a facial fuck it and so I was like I just kept egging on the the, the conversation I was like oh is that the first time you had ever gotten a facial or <laughs> yeah. had you gotten a facial before and he's like no that's the first time I was like so did you like it would you say you would do it again would you recommend yeah. facials <laughs> and so I kept like going on and like all the all the kids at the table are all like the people you know the younger people at the table are just laughing their asses off and he's like, what? What's the joke? And I was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Too much to explain. Yeah. Can't do it with all the old people around. Nah. See, a facial is when. <laughs> yeah. Nut. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the next question, Dom? Kyle asks, what is the best time to fall asleep on the job? <laughs> <laughs> if you're working graveyard, fuck. Yeah, it depends when you're working. But if you're a normal person who works nine to five, I'd say right around the lunchtime. Go to your car, take a nap. The I best. used to do that all the time, dude. I used to go to the bathroom and, and fall asleep. Like, what? I've done that before too. lunch. Like, yeah. wait, before, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Where? On like the ta- diaper changing table? No, <laughs> no. Nah, nah, like the last stall against the wall. 100%. Like you just lean up against you the wall? Just, you fucking pull your pants down a little bit. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> not to get the sag going. So 100%. Like, and then you fucking just. I, I don't know if I'm your, shocked why or. Why would you yeah, why would you, yeah, Exactly. <laughs> no, but you get caught dude, in your car. That's rookie shit. Your car? Yeah, if it's lunchtime, what does it matter? No, you're no. not going in. Oh, you're like, talking about dirty. Come head. on! Get I'm, with I'm you. eating lunch at lunch. It's not exactly. time to sleep. Lunch is your time. Yeah. 
Hundred percent. I don't know. I'm I'm I, I, I would always eat lunch right at my desk right before lunch, so I could do whatever the fuck I wanted to on lunch. Fuck, I do not miss working in an office, no, dude. No, fuck, fuck. that. No, no. There no. was a there was a job when I was working in hotels. It was up in um, Santa Rancho Santa Fe, which is like super super wealthy. This is like upper like top point five. Yeah, very wealth. snooty. Yeah. Um, Snooty, like, yes, yes, yes. Like yes. Phil, <laughs> Phil, Phil Mickelson lives out there. It's that kind yeah. of rich. Um, so there was like this big property, and in order to get around, we had a golf cart that you would drive around on the property. But there were these rentals, these big house rentals that were usually unoccupied, and there was no reason for anybody to ever go down there. And the place was so slow because you're literally just catering to this small, super wealthy community. So there was like hours would go by without having to do anything. And so I would just, I'll be super tired because I have to get there at like five in the morning. And then I would just drive down to one of these houses that were empty and I would just park the fucking golf cart down there and just sleep. Yeah, for sure. Fuck yeah. Why not? That's, that's the best shit. Yeah. That, I, I've had a couple jobs where I would fuck off, especially in the military. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. God. <laughs> the level of fucking off. I was an Olympic gold medalist skater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they call it. That's what they call it. That's like, that's military wide where they, it's, it's called skating. It just means, like, oh, that dude skates, man. It just means, like, he's skating through being in the military. Yeah, he's just, yeah. Getting, yeah, he's just doing his thing, man. Well, aren't there, like, a shit ton of jobs that they're just, it's like filler jobs? Kind of, but there's also sometimes they don't really have anything for you to do, so it's just busy work. So if you can just get out of the busy work by having as many fucking excuses as possible, never being seen. The number one, if you are joining the military, you just got in, this is what you do. You get a fucking folder, you put random paper in it, and when anyone asks you to do anything, like, oh, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta just, just grab the vanilla <laughs> folder. Like, oh, Here. man, I got this, ooh. That's, ooh, that's, this that's, that's urgent. The, urgent. Right, very important <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> that's the Ricky Gervais from The Office, dude. He's like, just Swear always walk around with a paper. Nobody will ever fucking question you. Swear to God, every Ugh. day I'd, just, I'd have a folder and be like, oh, I gotta run this up. That's uh, brilliant. Every day, every day. Oh, man. Ooh, I gotta sweep. Oh, but the, this thing, I gotta get this over to Chief. Yeah. It's gotta happen right now. I don't. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is some solid advice. Then Dom would advise sleeping in the last stall in the bathroom. Yeah. That's legit. I don't know. That's solid advice. <laughs> You're talking about solid. sleeping in your car where anyone, any fucking spy Nazi scumbag, <laughs> can walk by and go. He's sleeping in his car. <laughs> now you're not getting that's, a promotion. That's why, that's why you got to tint those windows and lean the seat all the way back. <laughs> or you just drive to like a nearby park and sleep in your so, fucking wait, car. But they, oh, so you're cars? clocking in and you're leaving work now? Is that what we're doing? I Bradley? would do that all the time. Constantly. <laughs> Constantly. I'm firing you. I worked for the same company for eight years, dude. I put in as little amount of effort and work as humanly possible. It was a, it was a magazine, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can get away with. Something. I got away yeah. with murder there for sure, dude. But anyway, hey, let's let's talk. Have you guys ever? I got away with murder at a at one job for sure. Where like I actually feel bad, but now I think about it. When now that I'm, you know, it's been ten years, maybe yeah. a little bit more than that. Statue limitations. Yeah, I just feel bad, man. I feel so bad. They, I was working this construction job, and she, the owner of the construction, she was a woman. She's actually really famous. I'm sure they'll fucking find her now. But she was, she's one of the most famous landscapers uh, ever. But she, she does massive construction yeah, projects, yeah. you know. So, but her team, though, a bunch of fucking Mexican dudes who were doing blow and drinking oh, beers. For sure. And anyway, so I, yes, yeah, so I worked for her and I would go in between. So I'd work in the office, but then I'd also work with the construction dudes. And, uh, but really the construction guy was my boss. But then she kind of was, so I could just kind of play them back and forth, yeah. you know? Dude, I'd be at home. I'd take, go to work, get the truck, go home. And then that's when I was learning how to DJ because I think I was just turned 18 or something like that. And I was learning how to DJ. And I would just be at home for four or five hours just Damn. doing my thing. That's like that's like real late, like real. <clears throat> the worst. Yeah. And then, or uh, even, this is even worse. Uh, the construction guys, he kind of made me do it. But in reality, I should have said no. Uh, he, they would, uh, so I had the big, you know, what was a four by or what is it? You know, there's two wheels in the back. What is that called? Six by? Or something. I don't know. Like I don't a know. dually? Yeah, dually. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah dually truck. So that thing has like a hundred gallon tank, right? You know, it's a <laughs> massive tank. Yeah. So we would go, we'd, all the construction dudes would follow me to the gas station. I'd put like a half tank and I had the card for the gas. Yeah. Put a half tank in the truck. I'd pull forward and then their cars would just go in line. <laughs> all of them would fill their little Civics up. <laughs> Oh no, I, dude! I felt so bad, but the boss was like, "You're gonna." Oh, How man. do you not get caught doing that shit? I don't. And then the other thing too is 
you know, he's letting me get away with murder. He know, he'll cover for me all the time. So I was like, eh, fine. If you work for a company, though, that makes, like, millions upon millions, millions and millions yeah. of dollars, like, little shit like that usually falls through the cracks. Like, oh, yeah, noticed, for sure. You know? For sure. Why? There's no way. I, I mean, I knew it. There was no way for her to yeah. really. Uh, there was definitely at my, at my old job where I, w- I would stay, like, two hours overtime where I'd be, like, working on extra shit. And there was, like, weeks. Like, I would do it, like, weeks in a row. And I was really just... I was working like barely. I was like having meetings with different people and like working on different projects, but we were like half assing it and taking longer. And I would do it because I would get dinner from the kitchen and I would avoid traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Fuck it. I would do yeah. it just to avoid traffic. Dude, I would fucking spend a full days working on photo shit at my desk at work. Like entire <laughs> days. Yeah. Oh, there's that too. Like I was working on like tasteless gentleman shit. Yeah. I, I would bring my own computer. I brought my own laptop to work every day. Because I didn't want to have to deal with like whatever shit that they had. And yeah, and they're monitoring your shit. Fuck that. I'm well, saying. They, they, they can still monitor it through the fucking, uh, through the internet, through the Wi-Fi or whatever. Um, but they didn't give a fuck. I mean, I could have accessed it. They didn't block any websites, so I could have accessed anything on the computers they had. But I just didn't want to deal with them being like, yo, why are you like spending this much time yeah, for <laughs> on sure. this shit? For sure. What's the next question, Dom? Domo ask. When will the memes be tasteless again? Or will you be changing the page to be named Pansy Boy Gentleman? <laughs> Fuck you, Damo Reigns. I'm saying your whole fucking Shouldn't name. Shouldn't have even read yeah. that fucking question. No, that's a, that's a good question because it needs an answer. Yeah. And the, the problem, fa- uh, Facebook has changed. And they, these all these people are saying like, well, why aren't you guys posting this? Yeah. Or they sold the page. Like, bro, you, you literally cannot post that. You can't post it anymore. That's why we have the private group. No problem in the private group. You can get away with a lot more. But you... You, the page will be gone in a day if you post two things in a row. Immediately. immediately. You just, it doesn't happen anymore. Here's, here's the thing. I'm, this, this is how crazy it is. Just so I can give you guys who actually... You, that guy's probably not going to watch the show. So <laughs> probably not. He's just complaining. Troll. He has no fucking idea what's going on. So if you see people making stupid comments like that, you can fill them in for us. Um, but it's so specific. Like, And we talked to the lady at Facebook and she gave us some sort of specifics. Like, It can't attack a specific group. It can't be a suicide joke. It can't be a Nazi Holocaust joke. It can't be domestic violence, domestic violence, uh, sexual violence, sexual violence, rape, anything like that. It's so it's like gotten so far to the point where it's like we can joke about like sex and booze. All of that is subjective. Yeah. Even even drug use. They were saying some drug use not acceptable. You know, like I'm anything heroin. I'm sure if there's like a needle or it's over. But I've even seen some on Instagram because it's similar rules some on instagram get taken down where like you know a girl's holding like what looks like a bag of coke that gets taken down yeah uh, it's so to say oh you guys don't put, it's like dude you can't anymore it's you, not just you, us. you have to play by the rules yeah like you can't put it this way if you were in the nfl and you were just juicing steroids out of your fucking gourd oh but they are though no <laughs> i mean i'm talking like blatantly like not even trying to cover it up like Eventually, <laughs> but, right, but they are. I'll, I'll do one a little fucking different if it makes like you happy. Like on the but. sideline. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fair Here's one that will make you a little bit, little bit easier. If you're out there, you're free safety in your head hunting. Okay. And you every single game you're spearing your helmet into different players' heads multiple times. You're gonna get kicked out of the league. Yeah. Yeah. For Straight sure. up, 100. percent You're kicked out of the league. That's what it is. We can't go out there and spear helmets into other people's heads. So an, any dark humor is just not allowed anymore. Not allowed, yeah. But that but private group, which which is kind of weird that it can be posted as long as it's in the private group. I, I guess mean, te- technically it could be reported and removed. Yeah. It's just the people there so are, ridiculous. are less likely to report. Yeah, but that the private group, you can just search it, but we'll, we'll post it. Yeah. But, yeah, so don't jump yeah. down our throats. Jump down the fucking throats yeah, of the people who Facebook. complain, yeah. dude. Or not, like the not bitches. Not the people who, who complain. Facebook's the one that controls it. Yeah. It's just going to get worse. You're always going to have people who complain. It's just going to get worse. And then there's one other thing I do want to say, which is that when people like that make a comment, this is what I suspect. I obviously have no fucking data to prove this. But those are the people who like, when we were getting really savage on Facebook, there were people that were just like, it's savage. Like when it got, it got to the point where it wasn't about being funny. It was just about being savage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And like the the humor was removed and they're like posting pictures of like dead bodies at like at Auschwitz. Yeah. yeah, yeah, It's so savage. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's genocide. (laughs) Yeah. for sure. There's there's not a fucking joke there. Like it has to be savage and funny or else there's no point. I don't get the point of just posting just something that's offensive. They're like, there has to be humor to it. Yeah. 
Otherwise, uh, it's just there's what's the what the hell is the point of well, just being? It's e- very easy to just be offensive. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. it's not easy to be offensively funny. Yeah, that's you know? true. Yeah, that's true. anyone could be offensive. You just post some racist, fucking inconsiderate, cool. ignorant shit. Yeah, and then immediately after you say, "Oh, it was just a joke." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, just fooling. I got yeah. black friends. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they comment, just nigger. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What? look what? at me, I'm yeah. savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look wait. At me. I like the name, though, that he came up with. What was the it? Pansy Ball Gentleman or something. <laughs> Pansy Boy Gentleman. Oh, that's good. I uh, think we should change the name. I wish yeah. we could put it something like that in, in parentheses I know. Yeah. for like a couple of days. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Domo. We, Watch, got a we, new we name. put it in there and then Facebook locks it in forever. And then let us change it. <laughs> What's Pansy next? Boy, All right, Griffin asks, Dear TTG, how do I have fun in college? What? <laughs> you shouldn't have to ask that question. That's the easiest fucking answer. Don't you in the figure world. that out the first day? You should. Like, just go to mad parties and binge drink. Okay, yeah. but let's let's, <laughs> let's play let's play devil's advocate. Where we don't know where he's going to college. I mean, this could be a fucking an all boys school let's in this fucking from. Mississippi. Or, he's, he's, from, he's from Lakeland, Florida. So what? He's probably at like either Miami or Gainesville. Or it could be, what if it's a community college or some shit like well, that? Well, that's different. Uh, yeah, but that is, you wouldn't say that if you were at a community college. You never college. know. I'm just he saying. He could be anywhere. Your name in Florida, so he could be, he'd be going anywhere. Yeah, but I'm, I'm talking about speaking for he somebody He could be at Lakeland Community College. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking for somebody who has family that's in Florida yeah. and grew up in Florida, it, the, the high likelihood of you're going to go to Florida State, Gainesville, those are really big schools. Miami is a really big school. So the chances of them going to one of these schools is pretty good. I mean, I'm honestly shocked that this is even a question. Like, and they're, they're like... Fucking Gainesville is a fucking party yeah. school. Like there would, there I was no considering court. going yeah. there when I fucking you? yeah, yeah. Gainesville is a big fucking party school. You should have no problems. So I'm assuming he's not there. <laughs> yeah, it, it's you just gotta get out there, man. You just gotta uh, unless it's one of, unless he's like one of those kids that was totally fucking you know sheltered and. But take, those those like, are the ones that go wild. And that, but that's what I'm saying. Maybe this is his first like introduction to that freedom. He could be. He could still be a Sex, senior. In, in, drugs, uh, booze parties dude it, the biggest uh, let's assume let's just assume he's a senior in high school maybe uh, just because mm. why you wouldn't be asking if you were already in, if yeah. you were already no, he could be in. apprehensive a little nervous about yeah, college yeah that, i, I get totally it. get it you just got to get out there do shit you wouldn't normally do hang out with fucking people you wouldn't normally hang out with just try it have fun do some drugs you know easy on the coke right now because it's got fentanyl in it you know <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> go, go, to, go to whoever has the booze and get drunk yeah That's, you don't even need drugs yet first year in college yeah. just go drink a bunch of fucking beer and have some shitty hangovers and, and bang, have some regrettable and bang the sex girl on your floor yeah i don't think i really hit the drugs heavy until i was like 28 i was like 25 yeah yeah i didn't even do cocaine until after college yeah yeah you were kind of no. You weren't sober through college, were you? Or through, no. through portions or whatever. I went. Yeah, there the, were portions of it where I wasn't really drinking. Santa that much. Barbara's pretty hardcore. Yeah, I'm amazed at how little cocaine I really did see when I was going to school there. Nobody could afford it. They were paying rent yeah. there. I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think cocaine was nearly as big then as it is right now. Well, I was going to. I was at uh, living around state when there was like the big drug bust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that I remember that. I heard about that. Yeah. It was pretty funny. Yeah, wasn't that Asian guy? Um, and he he won the he won the five million dollar lawsuit against the uh, the police department here. I don't know. I don't yeah, because uh, he he was arrested and they left him in a in the cell. I remember here for days, about and that, days, yeah. and days and days and days. He had to drink his own urine. The fuck? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he had to drink his own urine. Anyway, he he got a five million or ten million dollar. It's a massive lawsuit. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I'll Lock drink my own up. piss for fucking. <laughs> Being financially stable the rest of my like life. Bear, Bear Grylls doesn't even get that much to drink. Nah. His own piss. <laughs> He's got the the elephant dung and he yeah. just wringing it out. <laughs> Fucking the camel oh. stomach. <laughs> it reminds oh. me of Scrooge. <laughs> He's in the cage. What is this? Oh, urine! Human urine! <laughs> um, all right, next yeah. one. Uh, yeah, I think I, we answered that. You uh, just you got to get just out get there. out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. it's probably the easiest thing you'll do in your life is figure out how to have fun in college. Figure out how to have fun after college will be the hardest thing to yeah. do. And then because you have out. no more friends, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's when no like money. life starts <laughs> to really sink in. Yeah, you're broke. You have no friends. Everybody's scattered to the wind. Yeah, yeah. There, there is a period where you have to you, all of a sudden like I was probably like when I was around like 25, 26 ish. And like all of my friends that went to state had moved away. Yep. And like one by one they start to go. And then my last friend had gone. And then I remember I was sitting at Typhoon watching 49ers games. And uh, I, had a bu- I, know. I, mean, I had a group of people that were around there, like my brother and like a bunch of people that I knew. 
And then I realized all of a sudden that I was like, oh shit, like I don't have anybody to hang out with. Like I know all these people, but I never invite them anywhere. I never go out with them other than like yeah. hanging out and watching football on Sundays. I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get new friends. I gotta actually like <laughs> yeah, yeah. go to functions with these people. <laughs> I gotta do stuff. I will say to, what was his name? Griffin? Mm -hmm. I will say that if you're gonna get a job in college, Bar or restaurant? For sure. True. For or sure. both. Because I did that and I A, I met a shitload of people. B, I fucked pretty much everyone I worked restaurant, with. Restaurant, yeah, restaurant, restaurant. Re that was yeah. some of the most fun I've ever had in my life was when I worked at a restaurant. It's chaotic. It is, but it's fun yeah, chaos. It's, it's, yeah. I've yeah. dated a bunch of servers and always, not a bunch, a handful, but yeah. uh, always though, it was always a lot of fun because you always hang out with the, all their coworkers. Yeah. And they party super hard. And Every night all you all get off work and it's like, hey, what bar are we going to tonight? Always. And then, yeah. and then you have that moment when you're out with her and all her uh, co-workers and you realize like three of the dudes there fucked her. <laughs> yeah. And then we all True. high five and yeah. touch dicks. Dude, I remember when I was working at a restaurant, I was sleeping with, I think, two or three of the girls at that restaurant. And one of them I ended up dating and she was telling me, yeah, one night we were all sitting at the fucking bar uh, trying to draw pictures of your, your dick. <laughs> to see who could fucking be the most accurate. I'm like, wow, that's fucking hilarious. So that was my experience working in a restaurant. I it, would advocate that yes. for anyone, dude. I think everyone should. Yeah. This is actually on some other shit, but I think everyone should work service industry at I least agree. once. Just to know what it's Just, like to yeah. fucking work any shitty job. Yeah. Yeah, but specifically Builds working character. with people yeah. Yeah. when yeah, when you're not in the power position because you realize when you go out and you're fucking dick to the waitress. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, dude, don't do that. It's, I don't think I people, can do it now. People can be so oh, fucking no. degrading. So de I've yeah. heard it. I've seen it. Yeah. No, I've Gross. talked to servers because I've, uh, I've often wondered how bad it is now and every one of them has basically confirmed my suspicion with yeah. that is people are just piles of shit who expect everything, dude. Wasn't that bad when I was doing it, but I imagine it's horrible now. I, know, I always felt like he was shit. <laughs> Next question. Al Peacock asked. What? Wait, what? Al Peacock. Al uh, Peacock? Oh, I heard Al Peacock. <laughs> yeah. Like, Al Peacock. Chicago. Al, Al Pacino ass. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. All right, yes. Dear Tasteless Gentlemen, there's a girl that I like, but I don't know how she feels about me. What should I do? Yours sincerely. Fuck, fuck Al. Her. <laughs> Fuck her friend and find out. <laughs> I like Al. I like Al. That was a good question. There's a girl he Shoot likes. Shoot your fucking half court shot, dog. Yeah, you gotta yeah. go for it. Shoot the shot. If you miss, you fucking miss. It's all There's, good. So, like, the easiest way to figure out how a girl is vibing with you is take her out for drinks. At the end of the night, go in for a kiss. Plain and simple. Yeah. Whoa, what? whoa. Calm down, Harvey. <laughs> whoa. I'm not, I'm whoa, not, I'm not whoa, talking about whoa. jump in. Like, nah. I'm just saying, feel out the vibe. You go out for a few drinks. Nah, I like the half court shot. Just be like, hey, I like you. Let's go fucking hang out. And either, she either says no or she says yes. Yeah, like go on a date. That's what I'm talking about. But the go in for the kiss, though. I, I don't think I've ever gone in for a kiss. Not one time ever. I just, uh, that's so... What do you mean? You've made out with many yeah. women. <laughs> yeah, but not like, but you don't like go... I'm not talking about like no no vibe at all, just going for yeah, it. Yeah, but see, a lot of dudes will do that. I've talked to many fucking chicks and they're like, yeah, this guy just fucking kissed me out of nowhere. Yeah. I, I just, I'm thinking of, am I, I just never thought... Do you thought kiss on a first date? I, I, mean, I fuck have. on a first date. <laughs> yeah, I fuck on a yeah, first yeah. date. <laughs> I mean, I just, I'm just trying to think of a scenario where I thought like, ooh, it's time to go on... You just know, like, yeah, you know, but if there's no like... There's no like, well, it's the end of the night. Yeah. Get but, over here, sugar. But ah. don't but, but don't like puss out is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. You don't okay. yeah, you, yeah, don't, yeah, you yeah. don't go on the date and then not try. No. Like, I have never made out with a girl where I didn't absolutely know that that feeling was reciprocated. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. been like, well, I'm just gonna throw it on the craps table, see what happens. <laughs> Sometimes right? I do but, just see if they bullshitting or not. <laughs> Why are you that bullshitting, too. bitch? You just out here trying to get a nigga money. Basically what <laughs> <laughs> And also what can happen too is she might like you and if you don't go in for the kiss, now she's questioning shit and now you Yeah, might, are you gay? Yeah. Or or you might end up in the friend zone or some shit where she's like hundred percent. He's not into me, so I'm just gonna go, you know, do whatever. So you have you have to figure out. That's actually a really good point you just made with the friend zone. Because if you do not make a move within the first couple yeah, of times. Yeah, there's a certain time frame, yeah. It's sure. over. Now you're friend you're friend zone forever. 
You're just the guy Maybe, that she goes out and gets drinks with. Unless she yeah. really wow. likes you, in which case yeah. you could pull that shit for as long as you want. Yeah. Well, I've been in relationships the, like that for years. <laughs> there's, the, there's, the, there's the plus side where you can just emotionally torture her for years. Yeah, yeah. fuck. Yeah, God. but you gotta look, you gotta, you know. It's work, too much yeah, effort. You gotta, and you gotta look the part, too. I mean, I can't, yeah. I can't string a girl well, along. Well, you can, she just won't look very good. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. The girls that I like, I should say, I can't yeah, string no. along. <laughs> They're the ones stringing you along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a giant elephant walk of dick and pussies yeah it really doing is doing this yeah I mean, you got fucking you know Brad Pitt at the front yeah <laughs> and everyone Brad, else Brad Pitt and fucking and Leonardo DiCaprio just yeah. pulling everybody along fuck so half court shot it dude go for it you, you have to go for it and also the older you get I don't know how old this guy is hopefully he's not in his 40s but the older you get the more you just you just shoot the shot just do it because if she says no cool you know that yeah then you have no more questions well, the older questions. you get the no you know fucking because you've been there your ego is not going to be destroyed because some chicks like nah, yeah. i don't like you because when you're young you've only had so many experiences yeah where if you get rejected you've only hit on like four women and you've been rejected by three you're like holy shit the rest of my life is going to be this yeah and then you realize that's good those are yeah. good numbers or it's like <laughs> when you break up when you're like 20 and it's just the end of the world and then you fast forward to when you're in your mid-30s and you're like well, I can still go to Pacers, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, Hold on, are we breaking up right now? Because Pacers yeah, is still open. Exactly. I can get an hour You're like in there. 10 minutes after <laughs> she ends it. Yeah, it's different. I was just thinking about that. You know that feeling when, you're, when you realize you're about to fuck? Like you, because you're saying, you know, you go in for that kiss, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. or like you guys were making out for a second, or not even that. It happens way before that, you know, already. Yeah. Like yeah. when you touch her leg or like yep. small of her back, and then it's kind of, you could just feel or it. Or she like pulls herself into you. Yeah, or yeah. something. You know, you're walking down the street, and she gets under the arm, something, right? Yeah. And that feeling of like, oh, I'm about to fuck some new <laughs> <I have> pussy <laughs> tonight. I have a cool you know, smile you inside. It, you don't want to make it too obvious that oh, you yeah, know, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. I got to play it cool. play it cool. Yeah, we'll yeah. get one more drink over yeah, at this bar right here. We'll sit down there. But you just You're like I'm about to get a new pussy New pussy tonight And then immediately After your nut You're like Oh yeah I'm done with you <laughs> yeah. That new pussy. yeah Right before You're like I think I, I really like this <laughs> Really <laughs> like this I'm really You know I'm really Into this girl I'm real, Damn she's just so cool And then you shoot That rope I gotta go <laughs> I, Please don't touch me Lose You're like You don't even want to touch you You're like Ugh <laughs> <laughs> Like fucking John Cena And uh <laughs> fucking, uh <laughs> And uh, what's it called? Train wreck. Uh, no, don't touch me. <laughs> don't yeah. fucking move. Don't fucking move. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you repulse exactly. me. Get out uh, of here, fatty. One of my favorite, I don't want to call it foreplay. It's not really foreplay, but like when you're out with a girl and she just looks like sexy as fuck, like wearing like a little dress or whatever it is. And you just see how long you can go and going out and getting drinks and having fun or whatever before you just like have to take her back and fuck her. Yeah. Like you can't yeah. go any longer. You're just like, I need to fuck right now. Yeah, yeah. like when I masturbate for two hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very similar to just that. Just teasing yeah. myself. <laughs> Except yeah. it's not as pathetic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. We got one more, Dom? Yeah, Matthew asks, why is it when a package is sent by sea, it's cargo, and when it's sent by land, it's a shipment? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, it's always cargo. Yeah, I do. I do like. I do like this question. Yeah, I like that so question. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't even think we should answer it. Yeah, but it's a good question though. Uh, another one. It's Jonathan. a rhetorical. It doesn't yeah. need to be. It's a, right, it's was, a philosophical gonna, question. I'm gonna go down some. It's Jonathan asks. Fire. Jonathan asks, "What do you do when you see someone jerking off in a public restroom? Jerk off with them. How do you yeah. see them? Like, are you in the stall with them? I mean, you could be by the sink." How about be a friend and be a dick diver and get on that fucking yeah. cock? <laughs> Suck that man off. Yeah. He needs a <laughs> he needs to shoot a rope. He's cruising. Cruise back. Cruise back. Be a dick diver. All right, next one. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go rapid fire on these. Fuck it. All right, all right, all right. Sounds like that's the last one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like scrolling like fuck, fuck, fuck. James asks, if I shit in one hand and hope in the other, what do I do with all the shit? <laughs> Wait, shit in one hand and hope in the other? It's, yeah. it's from a saying. If you sh oh, shit in shit. one hand, hope in the other, see which one fills up first. Oh, I thought it was had something to do with clapping. Yeah, too. so did uh, I. That's what I'm picturing. Some yeah, like yeah. special person <laughs> clapping yeah. shit in his hands. <laughs> Could you imagine? Isn't that the sign of uh, of like serious sexual trauma, right? What? For when kids play with their own shit. I was reading something about that when kids. Uh, no, it's called fun with feces. I thought all. <laughs> I thought all kids all at kids some point. It, yeah. like, no, but it'll be like a like an older, not like you know, like fifteen. No, no, 
like a seven year old or something, or maybe even a little younger, yeah. six. Or but they'll I, they'll rub their shit on the wall and stuff. It's a sign of like serious sexual trauma. Something happened. Sign what? of a future serial yeah. killer. Also, the the voice thing too is another sign that uh, when a girl has yeah. like super high pitched. I remember voice. hearing that with Doctor Drew on. Love yeah, Doctor yeah. Drew. Yeah, like the girls with the high pitched voices. Yeah, they're serious. like whatever age. Yep. They they're locked in. They're, yeah, their voice stopped developing. Eee. All right, Travis asks. If Haiti is such a shithole, <laughs> why haven't I eaten it yet? <laughs> what? This has to do with the Donald yeah, Trump. Yeah, I the figured. shithole thing. If you haven't heard, I guess it's a few days later. Yeah, yeah what is it? Because he got 172 likes on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, Donald Trump made a reference to third world countries as being shitholes. Being shitholes. And I love the people that go... Like you know, they well. They need to. We need to bring those people here because where they live is shitholes. He said. He said shitholes. Ah, fucking. You know, they lose their minds. Like, all right, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. And we don't even know if he said it. Who gives a fuck? Anyway, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Next one. All right, we'll do the last one. Uh, Lily asks, "Is jerking? What the fuck? She said, <laughs> is jerking it? Is jerking it to hot women better than real sex? I keep finding crusty socks everywhere." <laughs> That's because your pussy is trash. <laughs> trash pussy. What's her name? Lily? Yeah, Lily. Fuck you, Lily, with your trash pussy. Trash, trash pussy. pussy. Don't so like So it's you. a chick asking that question? It's definitely a chick. She, her boyfriend uh, does not like her anymore. He's moved on. He moved on months ago. They still live together. It's an awkward scenario at the house. I'm just She's, picturing a filthy apartment with fucking socks crusty socks everywhere. everywhere. She, she stopped working out months ago. You know, he stopped coming home. He drinks with his boys. He comes home. He jerks off in the socks. It's over. Their relationship yeah, is over. over. I mean, if you look deep into it, that's a serious ph- philosophical question. And he's, just, he he's just leaving them out too. Well, yeah. He doesn't even care. He's like, doesn't care. It. So Hard subconsciously, sucks. he's notifying her that it's just done. It's very done. It's very Or done. she's not fucking him and he needs to be fucked and that's his way of telling her. That or, could be. Or he's fucking and it's just trash pussy. Or... <laughs> He's fucking all the time, and like me, when I fuck all the time, I need to jerk off because I think about fucking all the time. <laughs> She's not bad looking either. Really? Poor, really? Poor girl. Send her a pussy. Send her a message. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tell her Bradley. <laughs> tell her Bradley will will show her how to jerk off for two hours. Yeah, I will. <laughs> and not in the socks, dude. That's uh if that's real, that's disgusting. Yeah, who's, who's jerking <laughs> off in the socks? Yeah, I mean, these are grown. These are the, these are two adults. Socks, are, but I mean, who? Okay, let's socks say are hypothetically, man. let's say that you jerk off in the fucking socks. Why are you leaving them around? That's so fucking disgusting. You can't throw them out. You gotta wash them. That's what I'm saying. Fucking, I'm picturing like Scoop said, just scattered all over the floor, <laughs> like un, unpicked up dog yeah, shit or exactly like left. <laughs> like fucking tables haven't been dusted in eight years. Have you guys ever nutted in a sock before? No. We've talked about this. Underwear no. only. Dirty <laughs> under. No, I'm serious. You only nut in the dirty underwear because there's no chance of you throwing back on the shirt. You know, you're like, oh, I need to run the store, and you throw on your fucking nut shirt or your fucking nut <laughs> I think jeans. The only time I ever tried I jerking that. off into a sock was after uh, American Pie. Just to see what it's Just, like? Yeah, because I, I was like, wait, is that like a thing? Is, is that it, really yeah. good? And I did I was like, no, never again. Never again. Dude, the worst shit I've ever masturbated into is always whenever I'm driving. Like, I'll, I've, I've, oh, driven, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I've grabbed plastic grocery bags, like trying to angle it properly <laughs> while I'm driving. Like fucking, I I've, I've, I've come in cups, yeah. bottles, fuck you, you have, name if it. You, if you're on a long drive, like I've done a bunch of drives back up to San Francisco yep. and from, from, and yeah, for sure. You got to jerk off. Yep. I've, I've made survival. that drive so many times. I've never jerked off once. Why? The f- I used why? to pretty much, if, the, if I, when I was driving a stick. That's true. Yeah, but you're on the what freeway. You yeah. five. That still. There was a time in you my life. You don't slam on the brakes. There was a time in my life where if it was over like an hour and a half drive, I guarantee I'd be jerking yeah. off. <laughs> Subway napkins. And then like, you are, are, yeah, you, are you waiting to get past LA? Are you on the grapevine? Are you in like LA traffic? I didn't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I didn't care. So LA traffic. What is someone just, gonna do? See you and call nine one one? I mean, my friend. Uh, <laughs> it is illegal. <laughs> yeah, but they, they, they can't. They can't prove that you were jerking yeah. off. Yeah. How do they prove that? Excuse me, sir. 25 right. miles can, back can, there, we heard that you were jerking off in your vehicle. Is that, is that cum in your cup? <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to test that. It's just Gatorade. <laughs> Remember what's a Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. yeah. S- sipping back in Grandpa's old cough syrup, huh? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I had a friend that used to do that on his way, uh, on his way to work from Temecula. He used to be jacking off. He's like, yeah, man, some chicks saw me. I was just... <laughs> Dude, we, I was like, you're disgusted. <laughs> one of my one of my friends, we used to call him the uh, the prime minister of masturbation. 
Um, and he would like, dude, this guy would be at the gym and he would see a chick in yoga sh- in yoga pants or workout pants, and he would be on, and they'd be on like the stairmaster, and like immediately after seeing that, he would have to go in the bathroom and jerk off. Jesus Christ. See, I mean, I've had urges. I know what urges are, but that's just a little intense. Yeah, urges are one thing, but then like not being able to control that urge. Like that's... Yeah. I mean, that's part of being an adult. (laughs) Yeah. If you're young, I mean, I jerked off on a bus once. When I was like, in the bathroom, no, no, or just on the, on, no, 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 on like a city, like a public bus. Oh, yeah. But I could, you could, I could shoot a rope at that age of what, 14, 15, in 10 just seconds. by like touching yeah. my <laughs> cock, just hardly. Like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, just, I, I, I do not miss the random boners that you would get in high school. No. Oh my god, that was the, the worst. worst. Yeah, yeah, out of but nowhere. You don't still get them in the morning. I mean, that's that's not that's, random. That's, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't have. It's random. I'm I don't talking have about like day. a no. thought popping in your head, and like you're sitting there, and all of a sudden it's like you're like no, 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 <laughs> or no thought, or no thought. Yeah, no thought sometimes yeah. it just you yeah. know that has that has happened to me. I miss those days. I miss those days. You do have a higher sex drive. What's that? I said you do have a higher sex drive. Yeah, back that's then. true. All right, let's wrap this fucking bitch up. Yeah. Are you gonna prep Ziggy? Oh yeah, we're gonna do the E Ziggs. You guys can talk. Talk Cops. amongst yourselves. You guys can talk. And- uh, what else? What else we got coming up? We're yeah. uh, we're trying to do more shows. That's for sure. Aren't we trying to maybe get some live shows lined up? Hopefully. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, we want to do some more live shows. It's, I just need it, to talk to those guys. Oh, what's no. up with the monster track? The monster truck jam. We should do that. Oh, I also there's. I'm not uh, paying fifty dollars. We to get do that. that. We can. We, we'll, we'll pay twenty five. We should, we we'll should do it. Sit in the nosebleed. We should it's do not it. about even having it. It's just the principle of the matter. Well, hold on. We should do a show for my brother's rooftop, which looks right into that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, over. I also have a girl that wants to come on. Uh, uh, she's a uh, used to be a marine chick, but uh, she wanted she. Well, I wanted her to talk about this, but uh, it was about the thirst and from the from the girl's perspective yeah, in the yeah, military. Yeah. I think it'd be so fucking interesting because she was telling me stories and and you know just talking about them. Dude, that's crazy. This is craziness. Well, like the dude's trying to fuck in the just the amount of like you know like she could you know just. Scenario. Thirst. Scenario. Just dick the up. thirst. Dick we do. What the fuck? Oh, oh sorry, that's dumb. Sorry. Um, I thought somebody, <laughs> yeah, I thought somebody, I thought somebody was coming in the fucking window behind Scoop. <laughs> this is, this like, like, yo, this is the trap house. <laughs> we, do, we do need fucking. We we do need to get more chicks on the show for yeah. sure. But yeah. she, but uh, so I'm gonna meet with her next week. But I, I need to hear her voice. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna grab a drink. It's just, it's just high pitched as fuck. I, I I even said I was like I'm not trying to be creepy, but I have to hear your voice before I say like Yeah, you can come yeah. on the show. I need to hear her talk to me. We well, we've had chicks retarded. on the show before that were like, Whoa. Yeah, yeah, super annoying. So uh, anyway, all right, Ziggs, you ready to start dropping the e bud? Okay, Bradley's prepping the. <laughs> come on, Ziggs. So close.